All right, BFIT Nation, welcome back to another Motivation Monday. We are so happy to have you here a new week with a new month with a new BFIT Live. First and foremost, I'd like, a, would like to welcome you all to our BFIT Live programmed workouts here. These, this programmed workout is designed to be accomplished anywhere, whether you're at home or in the gym or on the go, uh, wherever you find space available to you. That's what these workouts are geared to uh, be accomplished at. Today's workout is a cardio-based workout, so we do not have any resistance uh, that we're going to be carrying along uh, for today. However, if there are some movements that you feel that you can scale up and hold resistance while working out, then by all means, go ahead and grab that resistance that you have available to you. Uh, with today's workout, I have my partner, my workout partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning. I'm doing good, Roy. How are you? Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am, I'm doing well. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to tackle this new month with new fitness goals in mind. And with that, again, once again, this is a cardio-based uh, targeted workout for us. So expect our heart rate to stay elevated, get ele raised and stay elevated for us today. Um, some of these movements are, they are uh, different timing sets. So a lot of rep changes uh, per four exercises. So uh, keep that in mind while we're working through things. Uh, make sure and challenge yourself, but also, um, also safety first here. So only go to your um, comfort level as well. Um, if we see any movements here that you may find too challenging, we will look to scale them back or scale them down and uh, I'll, I'll mention those co coaching cues as we go along. So with that, today's BFIT Live, our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, which I will demo here in one second, and four minutes, um, I'm sorry, four exercises, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round. I'll go ahead and demo the uh, movements and the exercises and the rep range for you. Before we get started, we will jump into some dynamic stretching to get our bodies ready to work. And then we'll move into uh, the workout, which is just under 30 minutes of work to focus on ourselves and to set ourselves up for success for this week and moving forward each week. So <clears throat> with that, again, welcome. Let us know where you're joining us from. Let us know if you're working out indoors or outdoors. Uh, again, where you're joining us from, where you're watching from, where you're engaging with us from. We love to see the comments that you all uh, post down below. So uh, again, welcome. And with that, let me go through the demo and calling out the movements for today. And then we'll jump into the uh, dynamic stretching. So exercise number one, we have five air squats and two burpees. We're going to go ahead and cycle through those five air squats and two burpees. So think about uh, some coaching cues here. Think about those feet shoulder width apart here. You want that soft bend at your knees. We are going to drop down into those five air squats, right? Those hips are going to get set back into that imaginary chair. Those knees are going to be tracking over the front of your toes and your chest and your head are going to be up and in alignment here. So five air squats here. After your five air squats, we are going to drop down into two burpees, okay? So, um, to your comfort level here, we're gonna drop down to a high, high plank position, chest on the floor, extending back up and raising nice and tall. If, um, if we want to slow this down a bit, go ahead and drop down into a high plank position and then bounce right back up for that burpee, okay? But if we're scaling all the way up, we're into that burpee and raising up for that one rep burpee. So we have two, so we have five air squats and two burpees. We're gonna cycle through that for that 40 seconds of work. That's gonna be exercise number one. Exercise number two, we have alternating, alternating reverse lunges with a knee drive. So we're taking that top of the space here in our workout space, extending that right knee or right leg or left leg back into that reverse lunge. Once again, our chest is gonna be up. Our gaze is gonna be straight ahead. That front knee is gonna be tracking over the front of that toe, all right? If your knee tends to fall, too far forward, go ahead and either set that rear leg back a little bit more and set those hips down first. That way that knee tracks over that toe, okay? So that's one reverse lunge. 
and to that knee drive, right? A little bit of balance here, a little bit of stability, a little bit of forcefulness on using our core activation to stabilize ourselves. Once again, reverse knee into that knee drive. Alternating reverse knee to that knee drive. 40 seconds of work there. That's gonna be exercise number two. Exercise number three, we have 10 high knees and two inchworms, okay? So 10 high knees, we are driving up those knees. Once again, 10 high knees. After you get done with those 10, we're gonna drop back to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna drop down, touching our toes, slowly walk ourselves out into a high plank position, and then retract back, touching our toes and standing back up and then right back down into that second inchworm, okay? That's going to be exercise number two. Once again, 10 high knees, driving those knees up, and then two inchworms. And then exercise number four, we're on the floor here, we're on the deck with 10 mountain climbers. And to break up our mountain climbers, we have 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. okay? So back in that high plank position, we're driving those knees once again to our chest, for 10 mountain climbers. Again, once we're in this high plank position, we wanna make sure that our hands are directly underneath our shoulders for the most support on our wrists, on our, on our elbows and our shoulders here, trying to um, make a relatively straight line from our neck all the way down to our heels. So that's that high plank position, driving those knees up to your chest. 10 mountain climbers. Once we are done with 10 mountain climbers, we drop down into two push-ups. And then we are back into 10 mountain climbers and then those two push-ups. So I know a lot of different rep changes here, but just remember uh, myself, Sergeant Barry will be with you every step of the way, every rep of the way. We are gonna get through this cardio-based workout together. It'll be a lot of fun. We're working on challenging ourselves, keeping that heart rate elevated, but also working on conditioning, okay? Working on burning those additional calories, working on moving that body. Again, go controlled to your comfort level, but also challenge yourself if you have the capacity, okay? If you have the capacity. So with that, let's go into some dynamic stretching and then we will get started with the workout. Towel off, grab that water, hydrate, 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 stay hydrated today during this workout, okay? And um, again, we'll be with you. So with that dynamic stretching here, let's go ahead and take a moment to prime our bodies here, prime our muscles and get them ready to work here. So dynamic quad stretch is gonna be on deck number one. So we're gonna do each of these movements for about 30 seconds of work here. And then we will move on to the next dynamic stretch. So dynamic quad stretch, we're gonna take that right leg, extend it back, take that left arm and extend it all the way up as high as you can go here. Make sure to push those hips forward and you'll feel that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexor here, that extended arm. You should feel that mid to upper back and your shoulder. Go ahead and switch. We'll be at each of these movements again for 30 seconds. So go at your own pace. Make sure to feel out where you may be tight. If you've been seated for a long period of time, this is a great exercise to really push forward on those hips, pushing those glutes forward, pushing those quads forward. Good job. All right, let's go back to a reverse lunge with the reach. So with the top of our, at the top of our space here, we're gonna take our right leg, extend it back into that reverse lunge, just like the movement that we have coming up. Bring your arms together, lock them out and a slight reach over to the side and you'll feel that stretch in your lat. So your rear, your back. Good, nice controlled movements here. Standing back up top extending back with that right leg, extending over to your left. Nice and easy here, controlled movements. Go at your own pace. Good job, two more here. Right legs back, extending over to my left, back to center, standing up tall. All right, left leg back, final one here, extending over to my right and standing nice and tall. All right, here we go. Nice wide stance here, nice wide stance. We are gonna do some lateral lunges. So we are shifting our body weight over to our right side and then over to our left. Nice and controlled, nice and slow, nice and smooth. Once you start 
feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. You can pick up the tempo, keeping that chest up. Controlled movements here, nothing too aggressive. I know we're going to get into a lot of fast movements coming up soon. So let's try and really stretch out some of these muscle groups that we are about to work here. All right, last three, two, one. All right, let's go into some quick body weight squats. Nothing too uh, ag ag aggressive here. Again, feet shoulder width apart. We're just going to warm up those quads, those glutes, those hamstrings, getting our form nice and primed, nice and ready for what's about to come. Keeping that chest forward. That head is looking straight ahead. Good. Three more here. Two, one. All right, team. Let's go into the world's greatest stretch here. I didn't name it, but it works really well here. So this is a new one here. Let's go ahead and go into a high plank position. Once you're in that high plank position, you're gonna take that right leg and extend it all the way up towards your right hand. Once you're at that top portion of that movement in that right hand, take that right hand and rotate it up to the sky. You're gonna gaze as your fingertips, your eyes see your fingertips on that right side come back down into a high plank position. Take that left leg. That left leg is gonna meet that left hand, keeping that high plank position. Once you are comfortable there, take that left hand and extend it, rotate it all the way up, right? Your left foot should be on the floor. Your right foot should be extended all the way back. Your gaze should be at your fingertips. Coming back to a high plank position. Both feet are on the ground now. Both hands are on the ground. Let's go one more time here. Right hand or right foot meets right hand. Open up that right arm straight to the ceiling here. Gaze should be following your fingertips. Good. Think about your breathing, nice and controlled. Extending all the way back out into that high plank position. That left leg is gonna meet that left hand. Feeling that stretch in your hip flexors. Left hand extends all the way out here up top. Gaze follows the fingertips. Left foot is flat, bringing that arm right back down, placing it down on the floor into that high plank position. And that's it for the world's greatest stretch. <laughs> How does that feel? That warmed me up, team. I hope that warmed you up as well. That's going to cap off our dynamic stretching. Let's grab some water. Let's grab that towel. And then we will move into our workout once I get this timer started. Once again, if you're new to BeFit Live, welcome. We have four exercises that are coming up, four rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. You still have time to join us, so let's get started. All right, team, here we go. I hope we are all having a great start to our Monday. <clears throat> Five air squats and two burpees. We're gonna cycle two through those for 40 seconds of work here. Five air squats, two burpees coming up in five, four, three, two. Feet shoulder width apart, dropping those hips down. Knees are tracking over our toes. We are working here. Five air squats to your tempo, your controlled tempo. Once you get done with those five air squats, you're dropping down into those two burpees. Nice and controlled here. Again, if you needed to hop up into that high plank position, Let's take it nice and slow. First round, we learn the movements. The second round, we will dominate the movements. Last 10 seconds, five air squats done. Two burpees left, out in five seconds. Last three, two, one. All right, good job team. We have 20 seconds of rest here and we're jumping into all and reverse lunges with a knee drive. Remember, this is reverse lunge with a knee drive. Coming up in 10. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Right leg is going back, dropping back to that reverse lunge. Knee drive all the way up. Use those arms as momentum as if you were running. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Nice and controlled. There we go. 
15 seconds left. Think about driving up with that power from your standing leg, using those arms, keeping that core tight. Last three, two, one. Good job. 20 seconds of rest here, and we have 10 high knees and two inchworms. 10 high knees, two inchworms. Good to work, team. Halfway through this first round, we are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. 10 high knees. And then two inchworms. So dropping back to my workout space, feet or shoulder width apart. Walking out to a high plank position, walking myself back, standing up nice and tall, reloading back into that inchworm, two inchworms, and then 10 high knees. Last 12 seconds. We're out in eight. Last five. Can you get the other inchworm in? Three, two, one. And time. <laughs> Good work. Good work, team. 10 seconds. Catch that breath. Hydrate if you need to. First round here. Our last exercise of this round mountain climbers, 10 mountain climbers, and two push ups. Coming up in two, one, high plank position here. 10 mountain climbers, four. <laughs> and then your two push ups. Again, your hands should be underneath your shoulders here, driving those knees up towards your chest. Or if you'd like to toe tap a little slower, that's just fine. We need to scale down. Let's look to doing those push ups off of your knees here. Nice and controlled movements here. Last eight seconds. Out in five. Last three, two, one. Time. Good work. Good stuff, Sergeant Barry. Good work today. Good work, first round. So after this first round is completed, we have one minute rest. So we are just moving into that with 35 more seconds of rest here. This is a perfect time to kind of reevaluate your space, reevaluate whether you'd like to add any resistance to any of these movements. Grab that towel, grab that water. 25 more seconds. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining us, BFIT Nation. We have 18 more seconds left here. Again, let us know where you're joining us from. Let us know where you're sweating from. We are up in 12 seconds, five air squats and two burpees coming up. First round, we learn it. This round, we scale up. This time, we try to raise that tempo just a little bit more. All right, we're up in three, two, one, five air squats and two burpees. Here we go. Four, five. Two burpees. All right, now we're back into those five air squats. Again, we're going at our comfort level, at our own pace. All body weight movements here. Two burpees. Back into those five air squats. Last seven seconds here. Three, two, one. Good work, team. 20 seconds of rest here. Catch your breath. Alternating reverse lunge with a knee drive coming up in 10 seconds. That's what it, that's what it is here. Out in five. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go, team. All starting reverse lunge with that knee drive. Remember to step back, making sure that chest is nice and proud. That gaze is looking straight ahead, using those arms for momentum as you drive that knee up towards your chest. Make sure you're taking a far enough step back for that reverse lunge for that front knee to track over your front toe. 13 seconds left here. Out in 10. Two, one, time. Good work, team. 
two exercises down, 10 high knees and two inchworms are coming up. How are we feeling? Shake it off. Move around, shake out those legs. I know we have some quad dominant movements here. Here we go, 10 high knees, two inchworms, starting in three, two, one. Here we go, teams. Try and stay light on your feet here as you're running in place. 10 high knees out into those two inchworms. Try to make them a little quicker than last round into that high plank position. Hands should end up underneath your shoulders. Last 10 seconds. Good, a little quicker. Out in three, two, one. Time. Fit Nation, good work. How are you doing? How are you doing? Staying with me. Sergeant Barry looking good. <laughs> I like it. I like it, team. We're up in five, 10 mountain climbers and two push ups. Second round. Here you go. Three, two, one. High plank position here. Driving those knees forward once again for those 10 mountain climbers. Once you're done with those 10, stabilize. Drop down, chest meets floor. Two push ups, nice strong push ups, nice strong movements here, keeping that back flat, keeping those hips square to the floor. 20 seconds of work here. Think about that breathing as well. Last 13 seconds. 10 mountain climbers, two push ups. Last eight. Out in five, team. Last three, two, one. And time, good job. Two rounds in the books. Who's with me team, who's with me? How are we doing, how are we doing? Did we break a sweat yet? I know I have. <laughs> good work team good work not only are we putting in a lot of work here with our bfit lives program bfit live programs but also think about the recovery pro process as well so after these workouts make sure and stay hydrated make sure to cool down make sure to stretch out make sure to refuel properly refuel with clean few foods here. With that, we're up in five seconds for five air squats and two burpees here. Three, two, one, five air squats here. Two, three, four, five. Chopping down into your two burpees. <clears throat> Good, Re resetting here. And we're up into five air squats. Keeping that chest up, nice and nimble here. Last 10 seconds, four, five, last three seconds. Can you get those burpees? Two, one, and time. Woo. Good work team. Catching that breath. We're looking good, team, looking good. Alternating reverse lunge with a knee drive coming up in five, three, two, one. Here we go. There we go, 20 more seconds left here. Good work. Stay with us here. Stay with Sergeant Barry and I. Last 12. Remember to go at your own pace here. Scale down, scale back at your own pace. Last five seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. How are we doing? Looking good, looking good. 10 seconds of rest here. We have 10 high knees and two inch arms coming up in five. Catch that breath, catch that breath. Here we go, team two, one, 10 high knees, two inch arms. Here we go, let's work. 
Remember to use those arms for momentum, just as if you were running. Opposite arm, opposite leg, drives up. Second inch worm here, ah, retracting back. 10 high knees, a little extra one for good measure. Good job team, good job, keep it up. Last seven here. Out in five, and those hips square. Two, one, and time. Ooh, ooh. I. <laughs> I get extra credit. We love extra credit here. We do not <laughs> mind it at all. <laughs> 10 mountain climbers and two push ups coming up in three, two, one. High plank position here, hands underneath our shoulders, driving those knees up for 10 mountain climbers here. After that, go ahead and scale down on those push ups if we need to on our knees. Back up into that high plank position. Woo. Good job, team. Good job. Keep that form. 15 seconds left. Make sure to breathe in on your way down. Breathe out on your way up on those push ups. Good job. Last three, two, one, and time. Ah. One minute of rest here, completing our third round. Good work, team. Good work. Hydrate, pal off. Absolutely, team. Absolutely. Let us know how you're feeling. Where are you watching from? Where are you joining us from? Are you staying with us? Go at your own pace here. 20 more seconds of rest here and we will tackle our last and final round. Pets are welcome. <laughs> She's getting rougher than me. <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, team, three more seconds here. Five air squats, two burpees, watch out for pets. Here we go, two, one, five air squats here. All right, <clears throat> directly into those burpees. Go at your own pace here. There we go. There we go, team. 10 more seconds left. Last five. Last three. Two, one, and time. Way to finish that last burpee. Sergeant Barry, good job. <laughs> Taking that rest. Taking that rest. Alternating reverse lunge with the knee drive coming up in five. Catch that breath. Hands overhead if needed. Three, two, one. Alternate knee drive. Alternating reverse lunge with that knee drive. Good, work on that explosiveness through that front foot. Drive up through that heel with those three points of contact on that front heel. That heel, that big toe, that middle toe, roll up onto that balls of your feet here. Last 13 seconds, chest is up nice and proud. Arms are moving just like we were running. Out in five. Last three, big arm swing. Two, one, and time. Good work, good work. Halfway through, last round, best round. In that right turn, baby. 10 high knees, two inch worms coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. 10 high knees, two inch worms. Good job. 10 high knees. Dropping down in those two inch arms here. 25 more seconds. Touching those toes. Nice and controlled at your pace here. 
If your knees are not as tall as ours on the way up for those knee drives, that's okay. Running in place. As long as we're moving here, it's all about staying active. Last three, two, one, finish it out. And time. Grab that breath, grab that breath. Last exercise for today, team. Last Ooh. exercise for today. 10 mountain climbers, two push ups. Last set, best set. We're up in five. Let's finish it out strong, team. It doesn't matter how you start, team, it's how you finish. We're finishing here 10 mountain climbers and two push ups. Here we go. Good. Remember to go at your own pace. Challenge yourself here. Last set, best set. Keeping the hip back flat. Hips are square to the floor. Dropping to those knees if we have to accomplish those push-ups. Last 10 seconds. Keep going, team. Keep going, nation. Out in five. Finish it out. We got it. Two, one, and time. Ah. As I catch my breath, Sergeant Barry, bringing it home, bringing it home, Sergeant Barry. <laughs> the best Great job. Out. The end. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, I know, I know. Some days are tougher than others. Some, some starts are tougher than others, but it's all about taking that first step, starting is the hardest part. But once we get going, we know that we are gonna push ourselves here. We are gonna to commit to finishing. And that's what it's all about. Giving your max effort for that time, for that day, blocking out some time for yourself. That's what it's all about, bidding ourselves up. Every workout is a day. And today, just like every day, we take some of these movements that we may not know that we do on a daily basis, but we take them and apply them into a controlled setting, a controlled program, just for us, BFIT Nation, for our BFIT Live programs. And then we take these, strengthen ourselves up, block by block, building that foundation, and then moving on outside of this programmed workout, taking it to our everyday lifestyle here. So great job, BFIT Nation. I hope you're tallying off. I hope you're hydrating right now. Let me check in on Senior Master Sergeant Barry. How are you doing, ma'am? How are you doing? I'm great. I feel great. And for some reason, I feel like playing Super Mario Brothers right now. Something about the like, you get up? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. So today we, <laughs> we accomplished a lot of power movements, a lot of explosive movements that we asked are from our bodies, not only off of a single leg pivoting movement, but also from a double stance, double feet on the ground, as well as a lot of high knees here. So think about those high knees. Your secondary movement is activating that core, activating those, that core abdominal section. So each time those knees were firing up, our core, our activation, our, our halves were firing just the same, as well as many other muscle groups in our body. But Super Mario Brothers is one of my favorite games. <laughs> We love the 90s here. So <laughs> yes, ma'am, absolutely. A lot of fun, a lot of bouncing today. But again, this workout was targeted for a cardio-based type of, of workout here. So it was, it, was, it was targeted to get our heart rate elevated. That was the key purpose of today's movement. I know every workout has its purpose. So again, this was just working on building up those uh, small and, 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 and fast switching muscle fibers with those jumps, with the explosiveness, also working on some stability with any type of single leg movement, working on those double legged high knees or mountain climbers, just to really focus and target and fire up some, some of those different muscle fibers that we uh, may not usually use. Uh, so again, this is a great workout here. Uh, BFIT Nation, thanks so much for joining us. Sergeant Barry, any last words from yourself before we sign off? And now, Roy, I just want to see him excited to start the week, start it off strong, and just keep going. Yes, ma'am, absolutely, BFIT Nation. We hope you have a wonderful start to your week, again, with a new week, and starting a new week, and starting a new month with us. 
which is March. Okay, we hope to see you back every Monday here. We are at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you need to see any prior or previous workouts, we do have them housed and cataloged in our Facebook page under the BeFit playlist. Search for that under playlist, track down to BeFit, and you'll see all of our previous workouts, which are cardio-based, which are resistance-based, which are a hybrid of both cardio and resistance to really focus on our fitness this month and for this year 2021 it's all about getting ourselves better each and every week each and every day okay one percent better every day that's all we're asking for so thank you so much for giving us your time giving us your effort making time for yourselves and we hope to see you again real soon we're going to sign off bye guys